Good morning YouTube. Hey, I have a quick question for you. Do you ever find yourself looking for an excuse to eat more Parmesan? <laughs> well, how does breakfast sound? Uh, today we're going to be making some Parmesan eggs and they're quick and easy and they are so good. Uh, and also, uh, I hope you'll like and subscribe and uh, make sure to watch for links down below. I'll link to a review for the griddle that we're using and uh, I'll also uh, link to I'll also show you where you can uh, purchase the, the griddle if you need it. Thanks guys. Have a great day. And here we go. I like to use the, the metal rings, the egg rings, so we keep everything kind of contained. But you can let them run, you, run loose on the griddle if you want. It doesn't matter. And so I grease the, the metal rings and I set the, the griddle just a little bit over warm. Um, so it's, it's set at a fairly low temperature and give the rings, uh, like I said, grease them up, I use butter, and then give them a, a couple of minutes to warm up, because uh, if you put the eggs in too soon, they're just gonna run wild underneath those metal rings, uh, but if you give the rings a minute to, to heat up, then they'll, they'll kinda start cooking the eggs at the bottom as soon as you drop the eggs in, and it'll help prevent things from running all over the place. And I like to drop a little dab of butter in each of the rings and let it melt and kind of spread it around so it covers the whole area that the, uh, the egg is going to be in. And by the way, I'm using the Presto Tilt and Fold Griddle. It's uh, 15 by 19 and I've been using it close to a year. I kind of forget how long now. It may, not, may only be about eight months, but I've been really happy with it. I use it uh, probably every day and most days I use it uh, multiple times a day and it's performed very well the nonstick surface is still uh, perfect it's kind of browned where the the uh, coil is but uh, it's still a good nonstick surface and uh, I have to say I, I am really quite happy with it and I will put a link in the description at the end of the video Then once your butter is melted, then we're going to go ahead and crack an egg into each of the rings. Once your eggs are in and going, then we're going to want a uh, little splash of heavy whipping cream, probably a teaspoon um, each. And then with the, the cream in, then grab some kind of utensil, it doesn't matter what, and mix everything else, mix everything together so the, the cream is mixed with, uh, mixed with the egg. Now another thing you can do if you like soft yolks, you can go ahead and separate the yolk and pull it out. And then uh, go ahead and do the, the cream and drop the egg yolk in after you've got the, the cream and the white mixed together. I do like having soft yolks, but sometimes it just feels like one extra step that I'm not willing to do. Then we're going to add uh, Parmesan and, you know, however much you like Parmesan, just add to your heart's content. I'm a, a bit of a fan, so I like to go a little heavy on the Parmesan. And then uh, once that's done, the next thing you're going to do is just uh, pepper. And again, just however much you want. Uh, I love pepper, so I put, out, put it on fairly heavy. If you're not a pepper fan, then just go a little on the light side.
and let the eggs cook just enough that they're they're set and you can separate them from the rings and uh, I usually run a knife around because it doesn't matter how much you butter the rings they the eggs still tend to stick to them uh, so pull off the rings and then whenever you feel it's time go ahead and, and flip the eggs over And part of the reason I keep it a little lower temperature is I, I don't want to brown the bottom. Uh, if you're not careful, if you run it too hot, then the, the bottoms are going to brown before you get it all together. And so I like them to just start turning brown. And once you flip them over, another, oh, probably minute or two minutes. And uh, again, depending on how hard you want this stuff, uh, it'll be a trial and error if you do them two or three times. And uh, in this video, I had cooked sausage earlier for my wife, so I went ahead and threw a, a sausage patty on to warm up. And the eggs are done. As soon as, as, soon as you're happy with their, their doneness, <laughs> uh, then you just go ahead and dish them up. And if you're feeling wild and crazy, you could also put some Canadian bacon with them, heat up a piece of Canadian bacon on the grill and throw that on. You can throw them on an English muffin. You can just have them on a piece of toast or something. Just uh, uh, go ahead and live on the edge and just try different things with them. And I hope you really enjoy this recipe, YouTube. I hope you like and subscribe and check the description for any links. And uh, make sure to check out the channel, too. There's lots of different recipes and uh, woodworking projects and uh, um, lots of different things coming, too. Thanks, YouTube. Have a great day.